In this video, we're going to learn how to use the error preprocessor directive in C. So the preprocessor is the first phase in the compilation of a C program. And the error preprocessor directive allows us to purposely cause a compilation error to occur. So for example, we could say number sign error. And next we give the error message. So here we'll say error message goes here. Now, if we save this and try to compile our program, we're going to get an error. It'll say error, and then we get error message goes here as the actual message. Now, it may seem unusual to purposely cause a compilation error to occur, but we might actually want to do this if there's some condition present that we can detect, and we know that condition will cause our program to have incorrect behavior. So for example, there's a library called limits. And in the limits library, there's a constant defined, int max, where int max is the largest value that an int can store. And this can actually vary from one system to the next. Our program might depend on int max exceeding some threshold for our program to actually work correctly. We could use an if directive to check for this, and if int max doesn't exceed this threshold, we could purposely cause a compilation error to occur, knowing this would cause a problem for our program. So for example, we could say number sign if int max is less than this number here, then we'll cause a compilation error to occur. And what we'll say is int max not large enough. If we save this and compile our program, we actually won't get an error because that's the actual value of int max on my system right there. What if we made it though 48 here at the end and we save this and compile our program? Now we get an error that int max is not large enough. And this would be a good thing if our program really did depend on int max exceeding this threshold in order for it to work correctly. And so that's how we can use the error preprocessor directive to purposely cause a compilation error to occur. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.